Hi there, my name is Jimmy Page. I am the guitarist for the legendary rock band Led Zeppelin, and I approve this message. On tonight's special show of Mr. Hayes Extravaganza, we have a closer look at mirrors. Where do they come from? How do they work? Why do I hate myself so much when I look at them? And much more. Today, WX1 Radio Rock News, Birds with Wings Without Strings, brings you an exclusive report on... What was it again? Uh, mirror flamjacking. An exclusive report on mirror flamjacking. I have a talk with mirror flamjacking expert Chambot9000, while simultaneously dealing with the sudden disappearance of our sound engineer, Mike. Now, Mr. Chambot, maybe you can start by explaining uh, the viewers at home here. What exactly is mirror flamjacking? Every sign. Hi. Okay, yeah, I'm sure we can get some subtitles for that, but um, maybe you can tell me what's the danger of mirror flamjacking? Oh, Break. Break. Gone and swish on the flare of the second day. Okay, well, I'm sure our viewers at home will appreciate this useful information about the world, the universe of Mayor Flamjacking. Back to you, John. Thank you, Jimmy, or whatever your name was, uh, for the special report on Mayor Flamjacking. Right now, I'm standing here for a second follow report on mirrors. I'm standing in front of a mirror right now to discuss the true essence of a mirror. Is it real? Does the reflection on the other side really represent reality or is it some kind of warped satanic representation of what we project in our minds to be reality? As you can see in this mirror behind me, you can see the reflection of the camera uh, that we're filming this report with, but the mirror is not showing our cameraman, John, which of course begs the question, is John really here? Or is the mirror lying to us? So honestly, as your host, John McMichaels, I'm more perplexed than anything I wish we could bring you more answers, but we only leave with more questions. Okay, well, um, let's just pause it right there. That all really looks pretty good to me. We got the story down, uh, the subject's pretty interesting. I'm just gonna put some graphics on there, but... Uh, I am a little confused about the sound quality. It seems a little inconsistent. The sound, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did uh, did something happen during recording or something? Yeah, well, maybe you should ask yourself that. What uh, What are you doing? Uh, I'm just trying to stay in the mirror theme with the video. Yeah, okay. Well, why don't you just continue with the edit? I'll call John and uh, figure out what's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Hey, John. How's it going? Hey. Yeah, well, did you have a look at the mirror footage? There was some crazy reports. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the report's fine, actually. It's, it's going quite well. We're almost done, but I was just wondering what happened to the sound. Yeah, the sound. Yeah, there was a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, just the sound in your report and Jimmy's report. There's something a little off. Uh, yeah, listen, our sound guy uh, got stuck in the mirror dimension. I'm, I'm sorry, he what? Well, yeah, you know, the mirror dimension got stuck. He got stuck in the mirror dimension, okay. And uh, how did that happen? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it happens when you stand in front of a mirror and you say mirror, mirror on the wall. Trap me inside your mirror dimension once and for all. And uh, now he's stuck. Okay, well, listen, I'll uh, take it into account, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, it really sucks. Yeah, I had to go tell his wife and kids and uh, they're pretty bummed out about it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, I guess we'll continue working and uh, better luck next time, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, good luck with the rest and let me know if I can do anything, all right? Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. It's been seven days now since Mike disappeared. And I still can't help but to blame myself for it. Mike, wherever you are, just know that you were the best goddamn sound engineer a report like me ever had the chance to work with. If I could take him back somehow, I would. I would, Mike. I would take it all back. You're a failure. You couldn't save your friend. You have to 
son évonage pour la vie. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Try me inside your mirror dimension once and for all. And that's how John got stuck in the mirror dimension for all of eternity, suffering forever into this endless void of nothingness. And I think we can all learn a little bit from that in our own lives, in our own mirrors, in our own reflection. So for a special afterwards, Professor Professorson is going to bring all that together and tell you what the meaning of mirrors truly is. <laughs> Frankly, you can make it as simple or complex as you want. A mirror in the end is just a reflection of the self. And however or whoever or whatever you see yourself as through this reflection, that all comes down to subjective taste and understanding of what ego is. <laughs> 